OpenAI is an AI startup that has raised money from venture capitalists. OpenAI is also a venture capitalist in its own right. OpenAI operates the OpenAI Startup Fund, which has $175 million to invest in startups. In February of 2024, they participated in a $675 million funding round into a humanoid robot startup called Figure AI. About one year later, in June of 2025, Sam Altman gave an interview to Bloomberg. It seems that he's really excited about humanoid robots because he brought up the topic completely unprompted. Let's have a listen. Meantime, AI is destroying jobs elsewhere. Yeah. And I feel like even, you know, there is serious anxiety out there. People are scared. Totally. E even among the best engineers and technologists, people are scared. Um, what do you say to those people? AI is for sure going to change a lot of jobs, totally take some jobs away, create a bunch of new ones. Mm -hmm. And the thing that is different this time is just the rate with which it looks like it will happen. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I think the world is not ready for, like people have maybe abstractly thought like, okay, it's gonna be a better programmer than me, it's gonna be you know, better at customer support and whatever. Um, I don't think the world has really had the humanoid robots hmm. moment yet. And I don't think that's very far away from like a visceral, like, oh man, this is gonna do a lot of things that people used to do. So, so yeah, it's coming. And we, we have always tried to just be super honest about what we think the impact may be, realizing that we'll be wrong on a lot of details. What happens when the humanoid robots get here? Um, I mean, they'll obviously do a lot of jobs, but what I, the point I was trying to make is I think like the first day you're like walking down the street and there's like seven robots that walk past you doing things or whatever, it's gonna feel very sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Sam Altman believes that within the near future, there will be seven humanoid robots walking down every street and they'll take everyone's jobs. OpenAI isn't developing any humanoid robots on its own. Sam Altman probably thinks Figure AI is going to develop these humanoid robots. As a shareholder, OpenAI will benefit from the upside. Figure AI has released some impressive looking demo videos, which have garnered a lot of media attention. But upon further inspection, there are some massive red flags with the company. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the humanoid robot industry in general, and Figure AI in particular, and try to separate hype from reality. As we will see in this video, we're probably never going to have humanoid robots doing our household chores within our lifetimes. But one thing most of us need to do every month is pay our rent. Recently, I've started using Built Rewards to pay my rent, which is also the sponsor of today's video. When I first heard about Built, my first reaction was I wish I had started sooner. There's no cost to join, and you can start earning rewards on rent no matter where you live. You don't even have to check with your landlord first. When you pay your rent through Built, you earn Built points, the industry's most valuable and flexible points. In addition to your rent, if you link your credit card to Built, you can also earn points when you spend money at Built Partners. You can redeem these points to pay for airline tickets, hotels, restaurants, fitness classes, and lift rides, or you can just redeem them towards your next month's rent. If you rent where you live, joining Built is really a no-brainer. But don't just take my word for it. Try it out for yourself and start earning points today. Sign up through the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen, and make sure to use my URL so they know I sent you. And now back to the video. Figure AI is a relatively new company. It was founded in 2022 by a man named Brett Adcock. Adcock has a very interesting resume. In 2013, Adcock co-founded an online hiring platform called Bettery. His other co-founder was a man named Adam Goldstein. In 2018, they sold Bettery to the human resources giant Attico. Having received their big payday from their HR startup, Adcock and Goldstein decided to co-found a much sexier startup. Later that same year, the two men founded a company called Archer Aviation. Archer aimed to develop a vertical takeoff and landing, or eVTOL, aircraft. Archer went public by merging with a SPAC in 2021. At the time Archer went public, Goldstein and Adcock both served as co-CEOs of the company. We've made multiple videos about Archer in the past. We have an extremely negative view of the company. Archer's original design was not fit for purpose, so they had to redesign it. They have staged multiple fake deliveries, even though they have not yet sold a single aircraft to a customer. In June of 2025, they published a video of their first piloted test flight, but they used their old design which cannot do a transition flight and will never enter commercial service. If you want a fuller explanation of the Archer Aviation story, you can watch our two previous videos about the company, link in the description below. But here's the bottom line. Archer developed an aircraft design that was not fit for purpose. They had to completely change the design. They were not transparent about this. In our opinion, they've been extremely misleading with their public statements and demonstrations. They try to fool their gullible shareholders into thinking their aircraft is closer to commercial service than it actually is. And even if it did work as intended, it would probably not be economically viable. 
The fact that Archer is facing technical difficulties shouldn't come as a huge surprise. It was founded by two men whose original claim to fame was creating an online recruiting service. I don't know why anyone thought they had the expertise to develop an electric aircraft. In April of 2022, Brett Adcock stepped down as co-CEO of Archer Aviation. The company decided that the co-CEO structure was inefficient. Adam Goldstein became the sole CEO. Having stepped down from Archer, Adcock decided to found yet another startup. And this next one would be perhaps his most ambitious venture yet. In 2022, Brett Adcock founded Figure AI using $10 million of his own money as seed capital. He hired former employees from Boston Dynamics and Tesla. Figure's goal is to produce autonomous humanoid robots that can perform a wide range of tasks currently done by human workers. Adcock doesn't have any formal education or experience in AI or robotics. In the early days of Figure, Adcock took online AI courses and read books about robotics. This is according to former employees. Despite his lack of experience, Adcock seemed confident he could accomplish what many large companies have failed to do for decades. In March of 2023, they published a CGI video of a humanoid robot. It has a sleek, futuristic design, similar to that of Tesla's Optimus robot. Figure's stated goal is to begin generating revenue as quickly as possible. Their first envisaged use cases will be in factories and warehouses. Shortly after publishing their first CGI video, Adcock told the Fast Company, quote, Existing humanoids today have just been stunts and demos. We want to get away from that and show that they can be really useful, unquote. In October of 2023, Figure published the first real footage of its robot, which it called Figure 1. It walked in a straight line. In May of 2023, Figure raised $70 million from various venture capital firms at a reported valuation of $400 million. Media and investor hype around Figure really started to pick up in 2024. In January of 2024, they announced a partnership with BMW. BMW agreed to start experimenting with Figure's robots at their assembly plant in South Carolina. If the tests go well, they may decide to scale up the use of the robots. BMW would use Figure's second-generation robot called the Figure 2, which is supposedly more advanced and capable than Figure 1. The BMW partnership was a game-changer in terms of investor perception. Despite the company being less than two years old, it looked like they were making rapid progress towards a real commercial use case. In February of 2024, just a month after announcing the BMW partnership, Figure raised a massive $675 million funding round. Participating investors included Jeff Bezos, NVIDIA, and the OpenAI Startup Fund. The round valued figure at $2.6 billion. In February of 2024, Adcock reportedly wrote the following in a LinkedIn post, quote, We signed our first commercial customer, BMW, a year ago. We currently have a fleet of robots performing end-to-end -end operations, unquote. I couldn't find this post, so I believe he subsequently deleted it. But this statement was reported by multiple media outlets at the time. On March 31st, 2025, Figure posted this video on its official Instagram page. The video shows a Figure 2 robot placing some pieces of sheet metal onto a stamping machine. The video is captioned, quote, This isn't a test. This is what autonomous robots in production operations look like, unquote. The caption uses the word robots plural, but it only shows a single Figure 2 robot. It then shows the BMW assembly line, which includes a large number of industrial robots not made by Figure. Automobile manufacturers have used robotic arms and other industrial robots for decades. What's new about the figure is the fact that it's humanoid. One thing that's interesting to note in the video is you don't see a single human worker. BMW's factory in South Carolina is already heavily automated. It has thousands of industrial robots which already do the vast majority of the welding, painting, and many other tasks. Notice that wherever robots are operating, they are surrounded by cages. This is done for safety purposes so that human workers don't stand too close to the robot and risk being hit by the robot arm. The main body of the vehicle is welded and painted by large industrial robots. Then it goes to the assembly line where human workers install a lot of small parts. This involves crawling into the vehicle and doing a lot of intricate motions. These are things that are difficult for a robot to do. That's why they still use human workers. The cars are constantly moving on a very slow assembly line. The human workers need to complete the tasks on time. Any delay would require the entire line to stop. Most modern vehicle factories have operated in this manner for decades. Large industrial robots can pretty easily handle the big stuff. The smaller intricate parts are installed by humans on the final assembly line. The whole purpose of a humanoid robot is that it's supposed to perform intricate tasks previously done by humans. Otherwise, you're probably better off using stationary robot arms, like most automakers have already been using for decades. If we go back to the Instagram video figure published in March of 2025, it is not on the final assembly line where the human workers are. 
It's in its own separate area, performing an extremely simple and repetitive task that could easily be done by a stationary robot arm. In April 2025, Figure found itself in controversy. Jason Del Rey, a reporter at Fortune magazine, reached out to BMW to ask about the Figure partnership. BMW told him that they were only running off-hour tests with just a single humanoid working at any given time and only on a single task, retrieving metal sheets and placing them into fixtures to get ready for welding. This contradicts Adcock's previous claim that they had a fleet of robots performing end-to-end -end operations at BMW. The whole thing looks a lot more like a staged PR demo than something that's actually useful to BMW. In June of 2025, Adcock attended a Bloomberg event where he was asked about the BMW partnership. The stated um, known customer that you have is BMW, a, a car company. You have said that you have robots deployed at, at BMW. What kind of tasks are they doing there and in what volume are they deployed with that company? Yeah, so we, um, we currently are doing a, a basically a job in the body shop uh, where we basically move sheet metal back and forth. Uh, the, you know, the goal is to be able to put it on fixtures, then those get welded into a car chassis. Um, so we're doing that uh, role uh, bit, bit every day. Um, today, maybe, I don't know what the time it is on the East Coast if we're still doing it, but like, uh, and, um, and then we're going to spend a lot more time, well, we already are, but we're going to spend a lot more effort just basically expanding to more use cases throughout the rest of the year. He explains that the robot is moving sheet metal back and forth, but throughout the rest of the year, they'll expand to more use cases. In fact, they are already expanding to more use cases. Four months later, in October of 2025, Adcock posted the following on Twitter. This week, Figure has passed five months running on the BMW X3 Body Shop production line. We have been running 10 hours per day, every single day of production. It is believed that Figure and BMW are the first in the world to do this with humanoid robots. In the attached video, the Figure robot is doing the same simple repetitive task, taking sheet metal and placing them into fixtures. No sign of any expansion of use cases. The video is massively sped up, so we don't know how fast it's actually moving. And again, we only see a single humanoid robot, not a flea. There is no tool use, fasteners, multi-step manipulation, or any task that would resemble real automotive assembly. The movements are extremely controlled and discreet. Nothing in the footage indicates a sort of adaptive, real-time autonomy that would be required to operate on the actual assembly line. Remember when we looked at the video of the industrial welding robots earlier? There are cages surrounding each robot for safety reasons. The figure video lacks any visible safety cages, thus indicating it is not operating near any human workers. The workspace looks more like a pilot cell or a stage recording area, rather than part of a functioning assembly line. The parts being handled are trivial and non-critical, precisely the kind typically used for marketing demonstrations, because there's little room for embarrassment if the robot makes a mistake. The sheet metal pieces are in the exact same position and the robot's hand makes the same pose, with no visible perception, no correction motions, and no evidence of the robot responding to variation. This strongly suggests a fixed script, a teleoperator, or a playback of recorded trajectories rather than true autonomous performance. This is October of 2025, almost two years after they signed the partnership with BMW. And this is all they have. In addition to working in factories, Figure also envisages its robots being able to do household chores. In February of 2025, they unveiled something they call Helix. Helix is a new software upgrade which they claim incorporates advanced AI. With Helix, the robot can perceive, reason, take language commands, and act in unstructured environments. In July of 2025, Brett Adcock posted the following on Twitter. Here's a figure 2 in my home, using Helix to do my laundry. It includes a video filmed by Adcock. Adcock can be heard saying, quote, a figure 2 humanoid robot doing laundry in the Adcock house, unquote. The video includes two young children who are presumably his kids. Adcock says the robot is not teleoperated. It's running Helix, which is a neural network. In other words, the robot is being powered by AI and doing things autonomously. Let's analyze this video from the Adcock house in detail. The robot is loading laundry into a gray Electrolux washing machine. The floor has very distinctive hexagonal tiles. We can also see the hallway. It's a narrow hallway with a light-colored hardwood floor. This is supposedly the Adcock house, the house where Brett Adcock and his family lives. The implication is that the figure robot with its Helix artificial intelligence is so advanced that it can be used to do real things in a real house. A few months later, in October of 2025, Figure unveiled its latest robot model called Figure 3. They published this demonstration video. According to CNET, the demo was filmed at the company's home testing facility in Northern California. The inside of the home is incredibly clean. 
There's no random junk sitting around like you would expect in a real house where people live. There's a toy on the table and a stuffed animal on the couch, but these were intentionally placed so the robot can pick them up. This is clearly a testing or demonstration facility, not a real house where people live. We see the robot walking around the house. Notice the light-colored hardwood floor. Also take note of this red abstract painting in the living room. The robot eventually walks to the laundry room. We can see a narrow hallway that goes to the living room. We can see the same red abstract painting we saw in the living room in the earlier clip. So we know we're still in the same house. This house is a testing or demo facility, not a real house where anybody lives. And when we look in the laundry room, what do we see? Hexagonal tiles and a gray Electrolux washing machine. Does this sound familiar? This is the exact same laundry room that Adcock claimed was in his personal house back in July. Adcock was lying. This was not in the Adcock house. This was at Figure's home testing facility. Adcock took his kids to the testing facility so he could film a fake video pretending that it was at his house. Many media outlets fell for this deception. For example, Futurism published this article two days after Adcock's fake Twitter video, quote, Wild video shows humanoid robot loading a washing machine pretty well. First time seeing a humanoid robot actually doing a task in a home, unquote. But this was not in a home. This was in a controlled testing facility. So why did Adcock take his kids to the testing facility to film the video? Why not just take the robot to his house? You only lie if you have something to hide. The robot supposedly uses the advanced Helix artificial intelligence software. The AI is supposed to be able to observe its surroundings and adapt to any environment. This is a requirement to be commercially useful. The inside of everybody's house and laundry room is unique. Figure's home testing facility is a controlled environment. You don't need any artificial intelligence. You can hard code the robot to do the exact movements it needs to do for the demo video. This is not impressive. This is not cutting edge technology. And it's certainly not useful. All the way back in the 2000s, Honda was trying to develop a humanoid robot called the Asimo. In 2010, they published what looked like a very impressive demo video. The Asimo conducted the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. As impressive as this demonstration appeared, the Asimo was a commercial failure. Honda eventually ceased development of Asimo, having never sold a single one. It was painstakingly hard-coded to conduct just that one song. It didn't have the intelligence to learn anything on its own, so it was pretty much useless. It would be much cheaper to hire a real human conductor who can learn to conduct any song instead of having a team of engineers hard-code the Asimo for each song that it conducts. If the figure robot could actually do laundry in a real person's house, that would indeed be impressive. Now we know this is fake. This leads me to believe that the figure robot is no more capable than Honda's failed Asimo robot was 15 years ago. At the beginning of this video, we watched a clip of Sam Altman saying that humanoid robots will soon take everyone's jobs. Remember that OpenAI is an investor in figure AI. This whole narrative that AI is going to take your job is an artifice to fool the gullible. Sam Altman, the benevolent tech overlord, is sounding the alarm, warning society about this impending economic disruption. The implication being that this technology is so powerful and valuable that you should invest your money into AI startups like OpenAI and Figure AI. We can expect Altman's narratives to become even more grandiose going into OpenAI's expected IPO next year. The reality is far less alarming and far less exciting. Unless your job is to load laundry into a washing machine in a controlled environment in one specific pre-programmed testing facility, your job is not going to be taken by a robot. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Figure AI? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.